Hey guys, it's Jeff from Hookah Time. Say, this is my new piece. Um, I decided to start pushing them in legit and seeing what they can make and took my ideas and created this beautiful hookah here. Um, it stands taller than a regular KM. Um, it has a glass diffuser here and it has a diffuser down here. This is actually an inverted diffuser. Um, I'll get to that in a little bit um, and how that actually works. I'm trying not to say too much yet um, because this is like the final prototype so this doesn't have the labels, the logos or any of that other stuff. Some of the parts I still need to make changes to. So this is what it looks like but this isn't the exact finished product yet. Um, like I said it's probably the last prototype. Um, We'll get, here, I'll show you how this diffuser actually works. So here is the diffusing system. So it actually gets diffused twice. The pull is fine, um, like I'm gonna widen the ports, but right now it's probably the same draw as a KM. Um, it's a little restricted, but it's fine. It, it's not overbearing. It's not like a Syrian or anything like that, but it's it's a pull. You'll basically the restriction right now is you're gonna feel yourself smoking a hookah. Um, I'll get up to remove the bowl, remove the tray. The tray's still the normal tray that I have. Um, it has the collar to keep the ashes in. It fits out. The tray is actually going to change. We're going to make it wider. Um, I've had issues that these trays are beautiful, but they just they aren't wide enough. So the tray is going to get expanded for you, those that have um, a Minnesota Legit or a Honeycomb hookah that holds this kind of a tray, um, but you think that the tray is too small. You can buy. You'll be able to get them separately, but they'll be wider. Um, I have here. This is the magic beast right here. This is the cage diffuser in the stem. And yes, you can get the water out of there. It's really easy. Um, you just have to put it upside down and shake it. All the water will come out. It's a caged diffuser. Okay. It goes with the theme of the hookah. And there is the valves. The smoke goes in the middle, out the outside, and back in the center. I'll do a video soon on actually using smoke. This is the inverted diffuser. This guy is spectacular. Um, it's never been used in the hookah industry. It actually does almost like a figure eight. As you can see, the glass hookah, it bubbles like a traditional hookah. A lot of people didn't like the, uh, the glass hookahs that they drew really smooth, but they didn't make any noise, and a lot of traditional people like that bubble. So it actually does bubble. Uh, the purge is the same. And when you do purge with the stem, it does, it works fine. And if you blow too hard, it starts bubbling up so it doesn't come back through the cycling system and dump out. So purge all you want, the water's still gonna stay inside here. Um, I don't have a weight on this yet. I never weighed it. I just brought it home today. So I'm excited and everybody wanted to see what it looks like. So, that's what it looks like. I'm going to grab a KM here. I got a dirty one right here. I got a dirty one right here. There you go. 
That is a cam tower with a boho base and it st stands about the same height. Uh, this will probably cheat because you get to put the whatever size bowl you're on, so I'll let that slide. That'll be like the old school who builds the biggest tower thing by making the tallest point. Um, but it's the same size as, same, t it's just as tall as a KM. It's solid, it's heavy, it's not gonna tip over. I mean, don't kick it over. Um, but it's beautiful, it's heavy, it's thick, it, the glass is just clear as day. Um, you can't get that. Obviously, I had it made in the U.S. here in Minnesota where I have all my glass, special glass made. Um, but that is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to make a completely separate video on it actually smoking since I've already used a lot of time. But I wanted to give you the first look at it. Here it is. Um, the hose I'm using is a, ga a Lulava gauge hose. Um, you can't find them anymore, but it'll use the same, it's this regular glass adapter. And again, this stem will fit on your honeycomb hookahs, uh, and so will the tray, as long as it's this standard. Just ask me if you have questions if it'll fit yours. There's some manufacturers that don't make them in the U.S. anymore, so they have different parts. Um, but yeah. So... That is my new hookah, and there's people calling me, so that means I gotta sign out. All right, guys, take it easy. It's Jeff from Hookah Time. Later.